Welcome back beauties, D Beasley here. As you can tell from the title of this video, this is going to be a chit chat, get ready with me, fall edition. I wanted to sit down, um, try out this new Anastasia palette that I picked up like a while ago. I haven't been able to use it or I have not used it. I wanted to sit here and do it with y'all. Like I wanted to, this to be a first impressions for both of us. Um, so yeah, um, this is volume one of Anastasia's. Or Norvina's collection. I only picked up volume one. This is what those shadows are looking like. I believe we use one, two, three, four eyeshadows out of this palette. If you want to see more looks with this, just give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment down in the comment section. Let me know. Because I don't know if y'all like any. Unless y'all leave in a comment. And I try my best to reply back as soon as I get the comments. Or I try to like take a moment to sit there and reply to the comments. So make sure y'all leave in a comment. Let me know y'all still there. <laughs> If y'all want to, you know, sit down and have a little chit chat session about where I've been and what I've been doing, then keep on watching. Okay, so y'all, to get started, I wanted to do, um, I wanted to do a talk through, but then I want to watch my iPad. <laughs> but I'm going to go ahead and do a talk through with y'all. Um, I already moisturized my face. Um, I actually used a sample moisturizer I got from my NARS order. Of their moisturizer, but I'm gonna go ahead and put uh, my Laneige lip sleeping mask on. I want to use a couple of things today. Um, most importantly, I want to use the ABH Norvina Volume One palette. I'm sure everybody has already seen this. Per usual, I'm late to the party, but it's okay. But basically, Anastasia and Norvina, who is her daughter, came out with um, like three. Hold on. They came out with three um, volumes to this collection. And I only picked up volume one from Ulta. And I actually have two of volume ones because one of the shadows broke. And Ulta being the great customer service that they have, they sent me a new one. So um, I want to pick up the volume three, I believe it is. Because it's like more, that's more fall colors too. But the volume two is just like straight blues. I'm not even gonna lie, I have a palette from Jeffree Star that I haven't even began to dig in that has mostly blue. So I'm not gonna pick that up because I don't wanna pick anything up that will just be sitting there. Because I'm in the process of depotting and get rid of a lot of my stuff and like condensing it down. So I don't need it, I'm not gonna get it. This is the Volume 1 palette. It's gorgeous purple shades, but it also has some fall appropriate colors. I'm sure y'all have seen it, but y'all haven't seen it on my channel. So I'm like, let me just show them this palette. It's just gorgeous. I want to use that. Um, I also, I don't have any, um, I do have a new foundation that I've been using, but it's like, it's not like new, new, new to everybody. So um, you actually seen me using it in my last video, the uh, L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour, I believe, Freshwear Foundation. I'm not sure why these foundations names are like stupid long, but they are, but um, I've been using that, but I wanted to use like an oldie but goodie um, foundation. I'm going to use my MAC Pro Longwear foundation. So I'm just going to get started. So I'm going to take this Primer Plus Mattifier by Bobbi Brown. And I'm going to put that all over my face. It doesn't do like a whole lot of mattifying to me, but it does enough. And I want to be able to describe it to you, but it's not like... Um, it's not silicone-y, but it kind of has like a powdery finish type of to it. Do you know, does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. But you make sure you put your found, your primer in and you want to let it sit. You don't want to go right in right after you put your primer in. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and do my brows, which y'all have seen me do a million times. But people actually like watching it, so I'm going to show it to y'all. It's a chit chat, get ready with me. It is what it is. So today we're gonna use the Precision Brow Pencil by ColourPop, one of my favorite. This one is in Bang & Brunette. They have a holiday sale coming up this week for Black Friday, Thanksgiving and whatnot, and I'm going to stock up on them again because their website, I think it's gonna be 30% off. So I'm gonna stock up again. But I just want to talk to y'all about like things that have been going on with me, like my life. You know, boring shit. I didn't realize it until I uploaded the last video. I haven't been on YouTube for four months. And to be honest with you, 
I've really been busy. I have a lot of amazing things that have been going on in my life. Um, but it's so weird that I feel like they're not going on in my life. Does that make sense? Like, it's happening, but sometimes I'm not fully absorbing, like, the moment of it all. And I'm just, like, letting time go by. So, okay, let's just address the elephant in the room before I even get started on that. My hair. So, <laughs> I have decided to lock my hair. Um, to be honest with you, I'm literally tired of being a loose natural, like tired of twisting my hair up, tired of getting braids, tired of, you know, um, not straightening, not putting heat on my hair, you know, stuff like that. I want to lock it. I want to see how I would like that. Like it's a journey that you can go on and if you don't like it, you don't like it. And if you like it, you like it. Like that's just what it is. But me personally, I want to go on this journey. I want to want to embrace it, to be honest with you. Like, I love the texture of my hair, so I feel like I would like it. But this, um, at the moment, is, it'll be three weeks on Friday. So I'm going tomorrow, actually, before my threes, before the holiday. And so I can get be cute for the holiday. A little bit cute anyway. I'm going to go and get my first retwist. Um, I mean, the only thing I can tell you is, like, I have a lot of new growth. Um, there's a lot of frizz. Um, um, I have this one lone coil here that just does what it wants to do. But I really, the only thing I've noticed like um, that causes my hair to, I guess, frizz up and do, um, I guess, not be as tamed or whatever, which having locks, your hair won't be tamed. But I work out four times a week. I try to work out at least four times a week. And I notice, like, I put this thing around my head to do, like, a, um, you know, to catch the sweat or whatever. It ain't been working. Which I'm just like, whatever it is, what it is. Because I really have been trying to work really hard on not just losing weight, but getting in shape. Uh, being able to, you know, get my heart rate up and, you know, catch my breath, you know, breathe right. I really been trying to stay focused and stay consistent with that particular part, portion of my life. So I've actually done good. I actually um, started out at 210 and I'm down at to 197, which to be honest with you, I didn't want to make it into like a pound or weight situation, but... Um, when I do weigh myself and I see how much I have lost, I'm so proud of myself. Like, I literally get mad if I'm not able to go. So, I'm really, I pride myself on even, like, being able to lose that. So, I had got to a point to where I was, like, almost in, like, a 14. Where I was in a 14. And it was just, like, it wasn't even, like, for anybody else, but just for myself. I didn't like it. And I have been in the 12, like, for a long time, which I've gotten back down to the 12. And I'm really on my way to a size 10. So, it wasn't, oh, let me lose this weight so I'm not fat or so I'm not, you know, let me lose this weight so I can look good. You know, not even, I want to feel good. It's not even about me, like, I don't, I don't, I'm not, like, on a kick to be in, like, a size 6. Like, that's not, that's not me. I'm literally just want to feel good. And I didn't feel good. So, shout out to Crunk Fit, local area, Little Rock, Arkansas. That is it. If y'all ain't got a Crunk Fit in y'all area, which I'm sure you don't, because y'all not blessed like us, y'all need to get y'all one. So, that's what I've been having going on. I literally started the lock journey three weeks ago. People have their opinions about it, I want to say, but to be honest with you, they can have it. It's a choice of my own to do so, and I just want to enjoy the journey so i got my brows on i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna conceal under it i'm gonna use my fenty concealer i think this is 385 remember i broke the actual tube so i had to depot this and okay so let me back up so back in july we had the Supporters' Choice Awards Gala um, that was sponsored or put on by Capabella. And I actually won the Entrepreneur of the Year Award. And I was like, ah! that was like crazy in itself. I want like this whole grant package of like a photo shoot, a rebranding photo shoot, a landing page for my website. And I believe like a makeup kit or something like that. But y'all, like that whole experience was so amazing i wish we could do it again like i can't wait till they have another one 
Shout out to Capabella. Do you understand what I'm saying? It's a non-profit organization that like basically highlights entrepreneur women, female entrepreneurs or women entrepreneurs and uh, professionals. And y'all, that whole oh my god, it was just it was dope. Normally, I'm not living in the moment. Normally, I'm like it's just happening, and I'm not like actually living in it. But I was actually living in that moment. But because I want to say, you know, a lot of times people be going through stuff and you can't talk to anybody about it because people will, you know, half the time, to be honest with you, you may not know what's going on. But then at the same time, you don't want nobody judging you for feeling how you feeling or whatever. But and to be honest with you, half the time you can't talk to people about nothing because they're like, oh, you fine. That's why I'm so like. I keep to myself so tough. I want to do my face first, but I'm kind of nervous because I don't know how these shadows react. But we're going to put this foundation on. Yeah, so you just... That's why I'm so like reserved and to myself. Because if I'm going through something, I don't want nobody to brush it off like it's nothing. You know what I mean? And people would do that. I don't know why people do that to people, but they do. And you shouldn't do that. If somebody's feeling a certain way... If you, you know what I'm saying, don't have the right words, which I normally don't have the right words for people sometimes, but at the same time, you lend a, 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 a helpful ear or a listening ear, I'm sorry, to, to somebody who may be crying out for help. It not, it's not necessarily crying out for help like, oh, they being suicidal type of crying out for help. That's not what I'm saying. If somebody is feeling a certain way or they feeling down or they, you know, not necessarily understanding why they feeling that way, then you should encourage and be there for them. But like I said, I was feeling that way. And that's just part of the reason why I stayed to myself, which I still stay to myself. I'm very, I've always been that way. I feel like I'm all over the place, but I feel like this is something that I need to talk to y'all about because I don't know if y'all ever fit, try to like wonder where I'm at. But I be trying to figure out why I'm not getting it to like why I'm not getting it together. But why why you not filming? Like you need to be filming right now, or you know when you don't have time, when you're not you know doing a client, like you should be filming. Like get your YouTube page going. You could be so much further because literally I've been on YouTube for who I want to say three years. Feels like longer, which it probably is longer, but it's like an outlet. I love getting on here, doing my makeup with y'all, talking to y'all, and actually being able to edit and make the video, you know, like it come one. I'm gonna take these Morphe concealers and conceal. Just, that's just some stuff that I've been going through. And like I said, people will tell you all day long, ain't nothing wrong with you. You don't know what's wrong with me. Just like I don't know what's wrong with me. You don't know. Like, I had this crazy um, anxiety attack one time. Didn't even know I was having it until I got to the doctor. And, like, they was like, well, it sounds like, you know, because I was explaining them to them, like, I just feel like, you know, I'm going to tell you this. Okay. I've never been the one to have an anxiety attack. So, I'm, like, literally, like, a fish out of water with that. But when I was having it, I had to try to calm myself down, but I couldn't calm myself down. You know what I'm saying? Because I want to say either my blood pressure had went up or what, but I was literally like, this is a damp beauty blender too. It's an actual beauty blender, not just a sponge. Because I use a lot of the ones from MUA, um, not MUA, is it Shop, Shop Miss A? I use a lot of those, which I love them. They're actually softer to me than the beauty blender but they go hand in hand i think the beauty blender just like the durability of the beauty blender it lasts longer but yeah so when i was having that panic attack like i didn't even know that that's what was going on but i was just like i feel like my shoulders was tightening you know this was going on this was going on and like i couldn't tell you what was going on at that moment as to why or what even triggered it but it just happened and um and all you can do is be there for people and i don't think i ever told anybody like i think people probably in my job knew because i had to leave work or some shit like that but like i didn't even tell nobody i think i told a close friend of mine 
Like, they literally said I was having a panic attack. And she was like, what? Because you don't, you just literally, if it's never happened to you, you don't know. So, just be support, supportive of people who may be going through something. I'm going to cream contour with my ABH stick. I use that um, one by Makeup Revolution. I don't think I like it. Girl, I got a dentist appointment like a two something. I don't know what I'm doing. It's 12 right now. But I'm just like, I need to film. So, Dennis, y'all gonna have to deal with all this. All I'm doing is get my teeth clean. So, always. I'm gonna take this Luscious by Lynn um, AC Cosmetics Butternut Beige Setting Powder. Y'all, I got it all in my kit. I got it. I got a couple for myself. Like, it's my favorite setting powder. I have the the deep beige, I have the no shine, and I have the butternut beige. I think there's another one. I feel like there's another one that I have, but I just don't use it a lot. But yeah, so, okay, so I won the award in July. I had a photo shoot after my birthday. So I wanna say it was like the end of September. I had a photo shoot. It was dope. I'll put, I'll insert clips. When I tell y'all, that was like the funnest thing I've ever had. I've never had a photo shoot for my business. And I have never had like, um, what is it they call it? Uh, I guess just a photo shoot, period. Like I legit has never, I've never had that. And I don't know why. Um, I work with them on creating a new landing page for my website. When I tell y'all, it's so beautiful. It's so clean. It's very bright now. Like at first, my website was a little dark. It's a little dark. But <laughs> um, I really, really love what I got going on now. Like they, girl, Coppabella. I'm going to link their website here. You go and check them out. Subscribe to the newsletter, any like subscriptions or updates and texts. Like sign up for it and support these ladies because they're amazing. This is uh, Coco Mommy. I'll have the, no it's not, it's Mocha Mommy by Fenty. I have Coco Naughty, but I feel like um, I have to do too much building up with it. So I just go straight in with this one. Just boom, 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 boom. I'm going to take my Morphe M527 brush. It's a brand new one. <laughs> Girl, I'm just going to blend that out some more. Girl, when you get a new one, they had it in the James Charles kit. I said, ah, one of these in there. And you know, mine's is a little busted. Where's the one I got? It's not busted, but it's well loved and it's dirty too. So I was like, I got a new one. Whip it out. Oh, y'all, I'm cooking greens and I got my smoked turkey necks on. They got my house smelling so bomb. My mouth watering. I'm going to take my absolute favorite setting powder, NYX, no filter setting powder. Ulta needs to get this in stock. Like why I got to order from the NYX website. This is a dupe for the MAC Mineralized Skin Finishes. Love this shade, Deep Golden. But I'm going to set my entire face with Deep Golden. Have y'all ever tried this? Y'all need to try it. Do y'all like videos like this where you actually like, we going through like, every single, like, step? <laughs> and I try to like, make sure I have stuff to talk about because y'all literally... I don't be having shit to talk about. But, like, I feel like it's good to have an outlet. That's part of the reason why in the beginning I was talking about, like, just being there for people who may need you. Which I don't want nobody to think, like, I'm some type of, oh, I need, I need, I need. Which I don't. I swear I'm not. I just feel like sometimes people can be very judgy about how some, like, somebody's state of mind. You know what I'm saying? We're going to go ahead and go to the eyes. Um, one thing I have 
been loving doing is concealing my eyes with the Juvia's Place Concealer. I do like using the actual concealer itself. It's very full coverage. Like that dot is going to go a long way. Okay. I'm going to take the shade C5, which is here. And these are like pressed. So I don't know why I just dug into that like that. I'm going to take the shade E5. Oh, that's another thing with this palette. She didn't name, she didn't give it any names for like the shades. She just gave them numbers, which I am mad at. I don't have to remember. This is this, this is that. You know what I mean? So I'm going to take the shade A4 and put that on my lid, which is here. It's a beautiful gold shade. I wanted to keep this um, as fall as possible. I hope y'all can see that. I got this thing on manual focus because that lens was making too much noise my whole like message behind everything i've been talking about is take care of you like make sure you're okay don't like listen to people when they're like oh you're okay and da, 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 da. like take care of you can't nobody tell you nothing dealing with you but you you know what i'm saying like nobody can do that. They feel like they can. And they feel like they got the right to. But they can't. So just make sure you're taken care of mentally, physically, spiritually, all of it. Girl, I'm gonna show up to the dentist looking like oh. <laughs> I'm gonna take the shade C3 here. And I'm gonna put it on the outer portion of my eye. Okay, and then we're going to take the same blending brush and go back into E5 and deepen up the outer V again. What do y'all cook for the holidays? Do y'all cook at all? I'm going to go ahead and go to my lower lash line too. Morphe to M210. I like that to um, define my lower lash line. So I'm just going to go in with the number E5. We're going to do lashes and liner. We're done with the palette. I wanted to tell y'all though, I love this brush. This is the uh, It Cosmetics like jumbo powder brush. Look at, it covers like my whole face. Another thing I've been loving lately. That was pretty easy. This is the Essence Super Last Eyeliner. I like that. I like that a lot. I'm going to take the Coco Naughty Fenty Bronzer and I'm going to use that to contour my nose area. I must tell y'all it feels really good to be sitting here doing my makeup chatting it up with y'all about some of the most random stuff it feels really good so i just want to thank y'all if y'all have stuck around with me for quite a while i really appreciate y'all so i think i'm gonna wear mocha yeah, let's wear mocha. I'm going to line my lips with this Espresso Lip Pencil by NYX. Y'all know it's my joint. Y'all know it's my joint. Y'all know it. Y'all know it. And this is Mocha by Colored Rain. Beautiful chocolate color. Ooh, ooh, I really like that. <laughs> ooh, I like that, y'all. Let's try some other lips. This is gonna be More Creamer Please by Dose of Colors. And on top of that, I'm gonna put Boy Bait by MAC. I ain't putting no lashes on. 
Hold on. I'm going to put on, I don't want too much right now. I know, right? I'm just going to put on a real subtle one. This is the um, Iridescent Pow Loose Powder by MAC. This is in Golden Bronze. Beautiful shade for brown skin tones. Get you one of these. So here's my finished look, beauties. I hope y'all enjoyed this chatty, get ready with me video, fall look edition. Like I'm really, really, really loving this look. And you know what? I don't realize it until I start editing like how big of a change <laughs> is going on. But um, again, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Um, if I don't talk to y'all or see y'all or post another video before, happy Thanksgiving, enjoy your family. Enjoy some food. If you have any questions, just leave them down in the comments section. I'll try my best to list everything there, even if it's just like a little quick, you know, little little situation. But I'll try my best to list everything down in the comment section. And until next time, I'll talk to y'all later. Bye, beauties. Mm -hmm.